subscribe. Um, I think the first season at Women's Super League has been, it's been tough but it's been really good for what for us anyway to build as a team and to come into the next season more prepared and ready for what we've got to face. So the key strengths of this season has been sticking together mainly and just wanting to improve for each other and making it work and I think we've done that massively this season and we got our win so it's, I think we've done really well. Um, I'd say they are a really good team, a really good side and they are tough to beat. They've got everything panned out and seem like they know the game really well so it will be tough. Our first uh, season has, has gone really well. It's been really, really tough for us. Obviously coming in as uh, a brand new team Super League, we've got a lot of young players that are kind of, this is their first experience in women's open age. But everyone's really stepped up, um, everyone's really kind of dug deep. When it's been tough for us, losing, well, Quite a few games. Uh, we've, we've still kind of stuck together as a team and worked really hard. Um, I've played rugby since I was 12. Played down at New Aesbury, just on the road. Um, played for Yorkshire, represented them kind of up until open age. Um, signed straight away for York Ladies as soon as I could. Um, played here ever since. Played for England Lionesses um, for three years and then. Um, yeah, basically lived and breathed it for as long as I could. Uh, I think Leeds are a really strong team as they've got uh, a very, very kind of experienced um, team. They've got lots of people to kind of control the game, lots of people that know the game really well, um, that can kind of coach and guide the young ones. They've got um, fitness behind the sides, they've got experience and they've got strength, um, but nothing we can't match. It's been an absolutely awesome season. Um, both because we've got a new team that have done really well and also because the RFL are getting behind us now. So the profile of the women's game has just grown massively, so it's been brilliant. Um, I think it comes down to hard work and I think mainly comes from the culture of Leeds Rhinos. Um, having the backing of the club, we train at the same venue as the guys, we've got physio, um, we've got strength and conditioning and we've worked a lot on the basics this season and kind of just doing them really well. And I think the majority of our games have been won by our fitness, so the strength and conditioning programme has, has been proven to, to work and the last 20 minutes of each game I think we run away with it. I think it's just raising the profile generally. There's more and more people getting interested in it and then with interest becomes investments and then the game just grows. You know, playing the Challenge Cup final at a Super League venue was insane. Mm. Um, and more of that would be great. And doing a couple of curtain raises, Saints and Cast did it before the Saints and Cast game on Friday. And, you know, next season, it like, looks like once the stadium's finished, we'll be doing a few more of those as well. So anything to grow the game would be awesome. Cool, so Lois has been nominated for Women of Steel. Yeah. Uh, talk us through why you think Lois deserves to win the award. Um, on the field, she's hard working, she is driven, she's honest, she's relentless. Um, she's one of those people that if she's missing off the field, you worry about it a bit. Um, she's knowledgeable, she's, she is by far the most hard working person in, in the RFL for the women's game at the minute. Mm. And then off, off the field, um, equally so, she's grown the game loads. Um, but she is probably the best person I've ever played alongside and if not the best woman in the league at the minute. Um, I think it's been successful for us as a club and as a team but also for the, the Super League as a, as a competition. There's been loads of really close games and going into the playoffs you couldn't quite call it which way we're going to go so um, it's been really great. Um, we've gone well but for the competition itself it's been fantastic because it's been close um, and you never knew what happened in week, on, week in week out. You've been nominated for Women of Steel. Uh, what was your initial reaction and how did you find the news? Um, shocked to be honest because there's so many great players out there at the minute who could have really easily been nominated so I was really shocked I'm just proud to be honest that people have, have put me up there in that category and um, for me it's you know a little bit of a silver lining seeing as I'm ruled out for the rest of the season so um, it, it were a nice surprise and, and brightened up my week and, and made me you know make sure I were on, on task with my uh, prehab and rehab stuff. <laughs>
sure what I bring to this team. You'll have to ask the girls. But to be to be fair, I think I just like to give them composure out here on the field. Sometimes you get wrapped up and it, it gets emotional. Um, so I like to think that I, I keep myself sort of a level head and, and keep those girls' emotions in check around me. And we all know in any sport, if you, if you can stay calm, um, that often translate into, you know, actually executing your play. So if I can do that for the girls, then, then I'm chuffed. Look, I came over from Australia, um, so I hadn't played a lot of league at all. Um, and it was just a, just an opportunity. I, I literally, friends with Joel Moon, um, so obviously followed the, the Leeds men's team and just saw on Instagram they were having trials and I knew I was coming back in April and I thought what a wonderful experience to, to try a new sport and I mean it, it's the power of sport isn't it I've, I've made some wonderful new friends over here and, and with a really talented group who've done some great things so far this season so yeah I'm really enjoying my rugby. I think it's been wonderful we've just lifted a trophy so we, we all know it's not done though um, we've done the t two out of the three. We're searching for that third um, with the with the final coming up in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, we've got to get there. We've got the semi coming up. Um, I think the best part of it has been it hasn't been a flawless season. We've lost a couple of matches. You know, we've we've won a couple of tight ones. There, there's not been too many breezy games, so to speak. Um, so it's it's been wonderful to actually earn the earn the plate and earn that shield. So. Subscribe.